Today on Rift Spirits and Gear, we check out the Clone Overdrive from Ryra. After having recently watched the short history of the Klon Centaur from one of my favorite YouTube channels, 5 Watt World, I decided to do a little digging. Now, I love overdrives and fuzzes. I don't particularly gravitate towards clean boost overdrive style pedals. I like a tube screamer. I love the TS-808, the TS-9, and all of its variants, all the Maxon stuff. I have loads of overdrives. The Klon thing for me was always kind of an eye rolling, oh geez, they command insane prices. They're kind of like the Dumble of the pedal world. So I don't know, I guess I never really gave those pedals that much credence. Assuming they were all hype and that the tone was just like nothing special, probably. However, after hearing some examples and kind of poking around various um, Klon clones, I decided to buy my own from Ryra. Now, this is called a clone, spelled K-L-O-N-E, very, very creatively. Now, Ryra, or Rock Your Repaired Amplifier, makes the clone, almost called it clone, makes the clone as closely as possible to the original units. And the reason why I chose this clone over many, many, many others is because it just seemed to have the most amount of sauce from the videos and demos and sound clips that I saw myself. There are a lot of wonderful uh, designs out there, but this one seemed to be, from what I could tell, pretty damn close, having never plugged into an actual Klon Centaur myself. So what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna get out a Les Paul and we're going to recreate a very data-proved rig of a Les Paul into the clone into my 1959 hand-wired Marshall and we're, uh, we're gonna give this thing a go. My clean tone is not gonna be clean. It's gonna be kind of crunchy. This is a non-master volume amp, so it's kind of where I said it is what it's gonna sound like. So I don't have a ton of control over the bass tone. However, it's gonna be a little crunchy. I'll roll off the volume, I'll clean it up. I'll do all sorts of stuff with the gain knob. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go ahead and see how this thing sounds. Okay, so I am plugged into my 1950s uh, 2019 Gibson Les Paul Standard with Seymour Duncan Saturday Night Special pickups into the Ryra clone into my 1959 hand-wired Marshall Plexi into the Universal Audio Aux Top Box. Now this is my bass tone. I'm not going for a total clean tone. I want a little bit of breakup to begin with. <laughs> I'm going to start with the gain all the way down on the Ryra, and then we're gonna slowly work it in and see what it sounds like. Turn it off. Here's where we're at with our bass tone.
Now I'm gonna try to roll off the volume of my guitar to see how it cleans up. Alright, so what do I think? Honestly, for 190 bucks, this thing is one of the best sounding overdrive pedals I, I have ever plugged into. Real talk. Now, full disclosure, this is not a sponsored video. I am not associated with Ryra at all. I placed an order directly from the website and bought it just like everyone else. Uh, I really, really, really enjoy what this pedal does going into something like a Marshall. I know I don't like throwing the word transparent around because really how transparent can anything be if it's powered by a nine volt battery and has the circuit? Nothing is gonna be transparent. However, this doesn't add any additional mud or anything and really does let the voice of your guitar kind of shine through even at the highest gain settings. Pretty cool. Um, honestly, this is, such a great overdrive. I am so happy with my purchase. I'm just, uh, yeah, I got this. I've had it for about a month and it's really, I've been so busy with the end of the year stuff and Christmas stuff. I haven't had a chance to get to it until now. Honestly, this is really, really special and I absolutely love this pedal. And if you are into a non tube screamer type of overdrive or looking for something a little different, definitely check out the clone from Ryra, you will not be disappointed. And I will, of course, link down below in the description. You've been wonderful, I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. If you enjoyed the video that you just watched, please consider subscribing. It helps me help you, and then in turn, you get more stuff to watch. And also, I have all sorts of stuff down in the description of this video. Sweetwater giveaway stuff. There's all sorts of links to all sorts of things. So consider uh, checking that out as well, if you're gonna hang. But if you don't hang, all good. I still love you.